quitting alcohol. I've been back at jujitsu this week. I took a couple of weeks off after I got my stripe just to bask in the glory. Nah, I was being a lazy cunt and last week or the week before, whenever the fuck it was, I was going to bed and I kicked my son's fucking basketball with my little toe and lifted up the fucking nail. So I've been healing from that. I mean, I could have put a fucking band-aid over it, but also I used it as an excuse to do fuck all. Even Tuesday was it. I was doing meditation in the morning because I'm meditating again. I'm just fucking turning the ship around again. So I'm meditating in the morning, but it's not even meditation. I'm just fucking battling with myself. Should I go to jujitsu? Shouldn't I? That was my whole meditation was trying to talk myself out of going. And I talked myself out of going completely, talked myself out of it like three or four times. I was like, I'll go to the gym. I was like, my shoes, I left my shoes outside almost deliberately, subconsciously, deliberately. And it rained and they were soaked. I was like, well, there's the fucking gym. I can't go to the gym. And then I was like, all right, I'll go to fucking jujitsu then. And then I was like, no, my little toe's still slightly sore and it's a little bit brown. It was just a fucking back and forth. And then I decided I'm not going to jujitsu. I'll start again Thursday. That was my final fucking decision. And then my wife was working from home and she sneezed like three times in a row. And it fucking annoyed the shit out of me. So I'm like, I'm going to jujitsu. <laughs> How annoying is it when cunts sneeze? Like, I'll give you one. That's fine. I'll even, like, support you on your second sneeze. But fucking anything over three, just, I don't know. Leave the house. Go to the doctor. Do something. It's fucking unbearable. Like, if someone sneezes, like, six times, by the sixth one, you're like, fucking, can someone put this cunt down? And then you'll have, like, a little bit of a break just recovering from fucking the anxiety of their fucking sneezing. And then you'll hear... (gasps) (laughs) like they're gonna go again and it's just like fucking let's get a divorce this is too much and my wife has like a dust allergy or some shit so like in the middle of the night she'll sneeze like 47 times i mean i won't be awake for any of it but just her telling me in the morning how she was sneezing so much annoys the shit out of me but anyway after all that fucking Toing and froing, battling myself. I go to jujitsu on Tuesday and I fucking leave there on just a high. Fucking sweating my ass off, learned some cool shit. It was just great. All that fucking trouble for something I was always going to enjoy. I knew walking out of there I was going to be fucking in a great mood, feeling great. Same again today. I woke up and I'm like, fucking hell, jujitsu again today. And I know now, I'm like, I know if I go there, when I leave, I'm going to be feeling great. So I just fucking ignore myself. I can't listen to myself at all. I need to ignore every single fucking instinct I have. I'm like nine days into eating good as well. And after like four days of eating like this, maybe five days, I don't even crave anything anymore. I don't crave any bread or anything like that. I still have a few pieces of fruit, but I'm not overdoing it. It's like, once you make your fucking mind up, just stick with that. I'm like, I'm not going to have cheap meals anymore because I can't handle cheap meals. And I'm just going to do some exercise, whatever the fuck it is. I'm just going to do exercise every day, even if I just throw the fucking ket around. Not the ketamine, although if I stumbled upon it, I mean the kettle bells. So that's what I've been doing. Just fucking something every day. Some kettle bells, some jujitsu, a run. I haven't actually done a run yet, but if I need to, I'll do a fucking run. So that's what you do. And I tell you what, because I've made those decisions, just like, fuck it. I can't control myself and I can't take any breaks because I'm too fucking lazy. So I'm just going to eat clean every day with no cheap meals or days or anything. And I'm just going to do some exercise every day. So I don't have to think of anything. I just do the shit. So that's created like a lot of extra mental space for me. And now I'm starting to think of some new fucking comedy shit. It's just sort of been flowing in lately. I'm like, all right, this is good. Got some shit I can try out tonight. The key is not to get into any negotiations with yourself. Once I start negotiating with myself, it's fucking over. 
like, oh, look out the window, it's a little bit drizzly. Like, I'm hoping to get to a place where I'm just like, like this podcast, there's no negotiation with this podcast, I'm doing it regardless. Regardless of where I am, how I feel, fucking what time it is, if I'm sit, I'm just doing it. I want to get to that place with writing, I just fucking, just do it, no negotiation, just start writing, exercising and eating healthy, just fucking do it, just do it, and meditation. So I'm back on board with all those things, and I'm going to tell you, I don't feel fucking any different to when I was a fat slob a week ago, but there's a little bit of lag, so I'm expecting in the next two weeks, I'm going to start feeling pretty good. Also, it's my birthday on Monday, I need to hit the ground running. This next block of five years for me is like, it's pretty much my last five years. It's the most crucial five years of my life. (laughs) It is. If nothing happens in the next five years, I am, it's over. So I need to be as productive as I possibly can for the next five years. Because after that, it's a steep decline. Anyway, that'll fucking do for today. The tickets to the live recording of the 100th episode of the Oppression Chamber are out now. I've put them up on my Instagram, Facebook. It's all over the shop. It's in Melbourne. If you're going to be in Melbourne on the 12th of November, it's Saturday night, 7.30. It's going to be a party, stand-up comedy podcast. It's going to be good. Go buy some tickets. Message me if you're too retarded to figure out where to buy the tickets. All right, that'll do, and I'll see you the fuck later.